Welcome back, cosmic travelers. We take one final look at Mars, the second destination on our grand tour. A world of rusty dust and tantalizing possibility, a silent testament to a once watery past. Its canyons and dried riverbeds will continue to call to us, promising answers to the ultimate question of life beyond Earth. But for now, our journey must continue. Our engines burn, pushing us out of the faint gravity of the red planet. We leave behind the inner solar system, the rocky worlds of our home, and set a course for the outer darkness, towards the undisputed king of worlds. Our next destination, Jupiter. The journey from Mars to Jupiter is unlike any we have taken before. It is a voyage across a great gulf, a chasm of space that dwarfs the distances between the inner planets. For months, our home star, the Sun, will shrink behind us, and our destination will remain little more than a brilliant, unwavering star ahead. On this epic crossing, we must navigate the legendary asteroid belt. Now, popular culture would have you imagine a dense cosmic traffic jam, a field of tumbling rocks we must dodge and weave through. The reality is far more sublime and far more empty. The asteroid belt is a ghost of a planet that never was, a collection of rock and metal fragments held in orbit by the sun, but prevented from ever forming a world by the immense gravity of the very planet we are heading towards. The average distance between asteroids here is over half a million miles. The danger is not from collision, but from the sheer scale and loneliness of the void. And yet, this belt is profoundly connected to our own existence. Jupiter's immense gravity acts as a cosmic shepherd, nudging these ancient rocks in their orbits. Occasionally, one of these nudges sends an asteroid careening towards the inner solar system. The very impactor that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs likely began its journey right here, set on its fateful course by the invisible hand of the gas giant. We are crossing the source of both creation and destruction for our own world. After a journey of hundreds of millions of miles, it begins. The star-like point of light blossoms into a disk, then a world that fills our entire view, its scale almost impossible for the mind to process. We have arrived at Jupiter. This is a planet built on a different framework than Earth or Mars. It is a gas giant, a colossal ball of hydrogen and helium, the very same elements that make up the Sun. In the early solar system, Jupiter grew so massive, so quickly.